Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Get ready to dive into the latest evolution of the Java platform. Java 25 is here, and it's packed with features designed to simplify your code, boost performance, and make concurrency safer than ever. We've handpicked the top 10 new features that are changing how we write Java. We'll walk you through the crucial differences these updates introduce. Let's jump in! 1. Compact source files and instance main methods. Java is getting a major upgrade for beginners and script writers alike with compact source files and instance main methods. For decades, a simple hello world required a full class declaration and the cumbersome public static void main signature. This boilerplate was a stumbling block for newcomers. Now that's all gone. You can write a concise Java file with just a simple void main instance method or even no class definition at all. Java handles the class boilerplate behind the scenes. It's Java that's finally simple enough for quick scripts and educational examples. 2. Flexible constructor bodies. Next, we tackle constructor safety with flexible constructor bodies. This is a powerful yet subtle quality of life improvement. In a subclass constructor, the call to the superclass constructor, super or this, always had to be the very first statement. This meant you couldn't run any validation or preliminary calculation on your parameters prior to calling the superconstructor, which often led to complex workarounds or unsafe object states. This change allows you to run logic like input validation, field initialization, and necessary computations before calling super or this. This makes your object initialization logic significantly cleaner, more expressive, and critically safer, ensuring your arguments are valid before passing them up the hierarchy. 3. Primitive types in patterns, instance of, and switch. The ongoing evolution of pattern matching gets a massive boost with primitive types in patterns, instance of, and switch. Pattern matching was previously limited to reference types. If you were checking an object that held a primitive value, you'd often need separate checks or rely on automatic boxing, which could be cumbersome. This feature allows you to use primitive types like int, long, or boolean directly in your pattern matching statements. When an object is being checked, the pattern will automatically check for the corresponding boxed type, extract the primitive value, and assign it to a pattern variable, making your type checking code significantly more readable and concise, especially in switch expressions. 4. Key Derivation Function API For security, Java 25 introduces the Key Derivation Function API. To securely derive cryptographic keys from a password or other secrets, developers previously had to use the low-level and often complex JCA, or Java Cryptography Architecture. This involved juggling different classes and parameter specifications for various algorithms. The new Unified Key Derivation Function API provides a high-level, standard interface for algorithms like HKDF and PBKF2. This simplifies the process of securely generating strong cryptographic keys, making key management safer and less error-prone with a clear single entry point. 5. Module Import Declarations Say goodbye to import hell with module import declarations. In large applications using the Java Platform Module system, you often ended up with massive lists of single-package import statements at the top of your files to access classes from a core module, like java.base. You can now import all the exported packages from an entire module using a single, clear import module declaration. This dramatically reduces boilerplate, especially when prototyping or writing utility code that uses many parts of a large, well-defined module. 6. Scoped Values A game-changer for multi-threaded applications, scoped values are now a finalized feature. Sharing immutable data across different methods within the same thread and passing it down to child threads was often done using the problematic thread local. Thread local had issues with unlimited lifespan, unconstrained mutability, and high cost when passing values to new threads. 
Scoped values offer a superior, immutable, and thread-safe way to share data. The data is bound to a specific scope during execution and is automatically cleaned up when the scope exits. This makes context sharing cleaner, safer, and much more efficient, especially in the era of virtual threads. 7. Structured Concurrency Speaking of virtual threads, Structured Concurrency is back for its fifth preview, getting closer to finalization. When you had multiple tasks running concurrently, like making several network calls to process a single user request, managing their life cycle, error handling, and cancellation was messy. If one failed, the others might continue running unnecessarily, leading to resource leaks. Structured concurrency treats a group of related tasks as a single unit of work. When one task fails, the entire unit can be shut down gracefully and reliably. This makes concurrent code much easier to read, debug, and reason about, ensuring all threads related to a task start and stop together. 8. Vector API Next up is a major performance boost for scientific and data-intensive computing, the Vector API. Writing Java code for high-performance operations often meant writing complex, low-level loops that operated on one data element at a time, or relying on external native code libraries to leverage modern CPU features. The Vector API lets you express vector computations, operations on multiple data elements simultaneously, using a high-level Java abstraction. The Java Virtual Machine reliably compiles this code into highly optimized single instruction, multi-data, or simmed instructions on the target CPU, giving you massive performance gains without leaving the Java ecosystem. 9. Stable Value API Introducing the Stable Value API, which aims to improve the safety and optimization of our object fields. To guarantee a field was immutable and enable maximum JVM optimization, you had to declare it as final and initialize it immediately in the constructor or declaration. This was restrictive, particularly for complex initialization logic. The Stable Value API allows you to declare a field as stable. This signals to the JVM that the field will only be assigned once, even if that assignment happens later than the constructor or involves complex setup. This offers the safety and performance benefits of final, but with greater flexibility in initialization timing. Gen, PEM encodings of cryptographic objects. Finally, another security and interoperability improvement, PEM encodings of cryptographic objects. Dealing with common cryptographic objects like public keys, private keys, and certificates often meant reading and writing them in the human-readable PEM format. Previously, Java standard APIs didn't have built-in support for reading or writing these PEM encodings directly. Java 25 introduces new methods in its cryptographic APIs to easily read and write objects using the PEM format. This simplifies interoperability with many security systems and tools that rely on PEM files, making handling cryptographic assets much easier and more standard. And that wraps up our look at the top 10 new features in Java 25. From simplifying that initial entry into coding, to making concurrent programming robust and enhancing security with new APIs, Java 25 is a release focused on developer ergonomics, performance, and stability. Which feature are you most excited to use? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more deep dives into the latest in Java and tech. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.